In this video, we're going to figure out how much our maximum PITI payment is based on our salary. And then from that, we'll extrapolate and figure out how much we can borrow as a maximum. And then depending on our down payment, how much our maximum home price can be. Now, these are guidelines. This is based on Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac's requirements, and it's for conforming loans. So you may be able to uh, find a loan where you can get a higher payment, uh, but you'd need to work with your home loan advisor to do that. So let's move on. Let's see what we need to be able to do this calculation. So there are several pieces of information that we're going to need. First, we're going to need your gross annual income. And from that, we can calculate your monthly income. Now, remember that when we do mortgages, we're looking at gross income. So we're not worried about how much you're paying in taxes. We're just looking at how much do you actually earn. And under certain circumstances, we can include overtime if it's, a, if it's something that's consistent. We're also going to need to know how much taxes you would pay on this particular property. So we can come up with a guesstimate for that. We also want to know how much homeowners insurance you're going to pay. Now, if you remember from the PITI video, the P is principal, the I is interest, and then the T is taxes, and the second I is the homeowners insurance. So that's why we need to know what they are. We're also going to need to know your annual interest rate and obviously your home loan advisor can tell you what rates you may qualify for. Then we need to know the duration of the loan. So is it a 30 year mortgage, a 15 year mortgage? However, we wanna calculate that. And then finally, the down payment, how much down payment you're gonna put down. We're gonna assume 20% as a minimum, but we can, we can do some what ifs with higher down payments. Remember, if we go below 20% on a conventional loan, you're gonna pay mortgage insurance. And then we'd have to calculate that all into the cost too. So we're going to keep it simple. We're going to have a 20% down payment. So let's see what we do with those inputs and how we calculate that. Okay, now don't be intimidated by this spreadsheet. There's a lot of information here. So the first thing we have is our gross annual income. And that gross annual income is $48,000. From that, we can calculate that this gross monthly income is $48,000 divided by 12. So that gives us $4,000. Then we're gonna assume our taxes are about 1,300 a year. So we'll just divide 1,300 by 12. That gives us 108.33 a month. And then our homeowner's insurance, we're gonna assume is 750 for the year. And we're gonna just divide that by 12. So we got 62.50 for our homeowner's insurance. We'll use a 4.5% interest rate just for the calculation. And then our duration in years, we have 30 year loan. So we're gonna make that 30 years. Our down payment is gonna be 20%. And then we also wanna include, is that at the top here, but what we wanna include is our monthly recurring debt. So if we have a car loan or credit cards that we pay off regularly, those kinds of things. So we wanna sum those up and put those in there and we're gonna assume $200 for our recurring debt for the purposes of this calculation. So the first thing we want to calculate is the maximum PITI, remember that's principal, interest, taxes and insurance uh, for our loan. So if it's a front end ratio of 28%, remember the, the required front end and back end ratios are 28 and 36%. So if we take a, this column A, and we calculate 28% of our gross monthly income, it gives us $1,120 PITI. So that includes your uh, taxes and insurance on top for your payment. If we look at our back end ratio, the 36%, we take 36% of our uh, monthly income and then we minus our monthly recurring debt so that gives us a back-end ratio uh, PITI of $1,240 
Now for Fannie Mae, they'll take that back end ratio so you can work with that 1,240. But for Freddie Mac, they're going to take the lesser of the two payments. So for the purposes of what we can borrow, we probably want to consider the lesser of the two, keep our options open. So in this particular calculation, we say if we compare A and B, and whichever's the lower, we take that for the, for the Freddie Mac version. Now what we need to do is we need to calculate just principal and interest. So we know what we have for taxes. We know what we have for insurance. So we take our PITI and we deduct from the PITI, we deduct the taxes and the insurance. And that will give us just the principal and interest amounts for those two loans. So if I have a $1,240 um, PITI, my principal and interest, given these amounts, my principal and interest are $1,069.17. If I have the $1,120 of PITI, my principal and interest are just $949.17. So all I've done is I've taken that PITI amount and I've deducted the same taxes and insurance because the taxes and insurance are the same for whichever way we go. So here's where the, the complicated formula comes in. So the maximum loan amount is actually a formula. It's this PV function. And then what we do is we take, um, our, we take our interest rate and we divide that by 12. Then we take our total number of years and we multiply that by 12 to give us months. So it comes up to 360. And then we take our principal and interest amount. And we apply that PV formula, spreadsheet formula, and it will give us the maximum loan amount. So the maximum loan, if my PITI is 1,120 with these numbers included, I'm gonna have a maximum loan amount of $187,328.63. Now my maximum home price is basically that plus 20%. So to calculate the maximum home price, we essentially take this amount and divide it by 80% because that's 80% of the total of the home price because we have a 20% down payment. <clears throat> so to do that, what we did is we took a 100% minus whatever this percentage is here. That gives us the total home price. And then we take the home price minus the maximum loan and that gives us the down payment. So you can see in this case, we can buy a house for $234,000 if we have an income of $48,000. Uh, and obviously our credit and all of those other things are going to come into that um, and, and affect what we can borrow. But this is a basic assuming that we have great credit, assuming that we are going to max out our amount that we're allowed to max out. We could go up to $234,160.79 for a home. So hopefully that helps you. If you have any questions about how to calculate it or if you want to get a copy of a spreadsheet like this, feel free to contact me, leave a comment below. Uh, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. I would really appreciate it and we'll move on and do the next video.